Oh boy, Margo Watch on a Wednesday after or morning, right? Yeah, this is morning. Uh, we also have more Ghosts from the Past reveals this afternoon, so expect a video on that. And then I don't know where the rest of my day is going outside of that. You might get a card reveal after this, before the reveals. I don't even know. There's so much going on right now. It's absolutely absurd, guys. So make sure you smash it, and crap that subscribe button. And uh, expect probably another Mark Watch this afternoon when we get like 19 more reprints. But this is where we stand as of this morning. Now let's dig on into this, shall we? I just want to start this market watch off with the mechanized madness structure deck here. So first thing, these are 1075 shipped to your front door, and you're like, well, Robbie, why why does this matter? So sealed structure deck value is quite an interesting creature because when you start seeing singles that are touching about as much as the structure deck, you kind of start questioning some things. So solemn strikes from this. Uh, after shipping, that's about half of the cost of the structure deck, so that's five dollars. All right, now on the back end of that, you have unauthorized reactivation here also creeping up. So now you have a four to five dollar card. Now you also on the back end have a four dollar card. You're looking at eight to nine dollars in singles out of I think 40 cards in the deck, so that's something to keep in mind. And then Oh, look at that, Cosmic. So for three cards, I have the price of the structure deck. Yeah, it's a matter of time until the sealed structure decks just disappear off the market, uh, but it's coming. Oh, the Avarice, look at this. Two dollars, two dollars, hmm. Citadel, still a dollar. It's a matter of time until these go up as well. Uh, deployment dollars. So what you're telling me here is there is more sealed, there's more value in buying a sealed structure deck now than ever before. Absolutely there is. Uh, so. This is your warning for me uh, to get in ahead of this, because as soon as people start to figure out that, oh, oh crap, these singles are going up, uh oh, maybe I should pick them up. Yeah, those sealed structure decks, look, look at this, like, the solid value, all, you will be sitting on the next dinosaur structure deck 2.0 here, or you'll be seeing these structures at 2025 before reprint, and you're like, oh, where'd all the value go? You, it's coming. It's already beginning. So at least this time we get to see it as it's happening. All right. So um, original prints of Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. They're gonzo. They're, they poofed. Um, I saw there were two up last night at 15 bucks a piece. So I saw the, uh, the buy in the afternoon, and then in the evening I was looking in. There were two up, uh, one listing at two at 10 with $5 shipping, and there was another one at 20 And those have long since sold. So whatever, whoever of interest that has been causing this buyout actually poofed, they're gone. So, yeah, that's something to kind of keep an eye on. Now, of course, Mega Pack 1s are at 5 bucks, only 16 listings. Personally, I like the alternate arts. The altars are still $2.00. Um, you even got the rares down here. Do you guys know that the stupid rares two dollars? I I don't think people kind of ever caught that. They're like, well, you know, so there's like gamma, like rare gamma's two dollars at the moment. It's a literal penny stonk. So, yeah, that's the thing. Starving venoms are gone. Uh, Pilka, descendant of the gu uh, Gusto. So we're assuming that Gusto will get some port. Somewhere along the way, I know it was, it was it was a relatively high finisher for the structure deck pull, if I recall correctly. Uh, but right now, original copies of this um, are at the ten dollar mark all across the board here. So hey, if you're a huge Gusto fan, I know there's there's a very dedicated player base out there. I know they're all asleep right now. They're waiting for the day. They're like. <sighs> I, I, I agree. I, I'm waiting for Gustos to get the chance to come back, to. Uh, I actually really enjoyed this deck back in the day, but it is one of the most um, underwhelming support lines as a modern Yu-Gi-Oh! that hasn't got any support yet. So, yeah, I'll get a 9 10 bucks. Fusion deployment. This also got bought out, I guess. Uh, there was talk about people trying to play this with the Arcana Knight Joker. Um, I guess it depends on how the new stuff's going to be ruled question mark um but hey you know what the card's 16 dollars now uh, i'm expecting that this will probably get some sort of reprint along the way uh this is this is megaton fodder right if i'm 100 uh, percent sure so definitely uh yikes 
That's a lot of money for no reason. All right, hey, uh, Gators' original prints are uh, to the moon. Um, this doesn't surprise me. Hundred bucks. Look at these ultras. Uh, we're what, like eight, nine bucks. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see this card get the reprint um, in Ghost from the Past. Uh, we'll know later on today if uh, this is getting reprinted or not, uh, which will probably send this card in another spiral frenzy here. So, but man, you're already looking at nine freaking dollars for <sighs> no reason whatsoever. This is disgusting, actually. Grace for Charity Hobby League. Huh, didn't I mention a long time ago? This probably should be a card that you should be watching. Yeah, they finally gave out $76. I mean, still with $5 shipping cost. I'm spending $71 on the card. Like, I shouldn't have to pay shipping. I think you all relate to that, right? It's for the tracking, Robbie. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Uh, Rush it all, Wendy. This really got bought out? Come on, man. Uh, anything else from the Stuba at all structure deck? Rocket, like 25 bucks still. You can get these. It's not bad. Hey, look, the allures are four bucks. Wow, see, this is exactly what I was talking about with the machine structure deck. See, these are just gone, and then you've got an $8 card, and you got a freaking $4 card. So that's $12 in structure deck value right there. And you got App Cologne coming in at a dollar, Super Poly at basically two behind it, Avarice is at basically dollars behind it. See what I mean? Like, you have so much free value here. This is exactly what's going to happen with the Machine Structure deck very, very soon. All right. No real shocker, I guess. Power of the Guardians. The Mega Pack version of this stupid card is actually like $4. I don't know why. Um, people seem to think this card is... Good. Oh, man. Thank you for just showing me all of this Dragon Ball product. I love this. Okay, it's Mega Pack. I mean, even the Expo copy is like four bucks. Sure. Ah, Purple Nightfalls. Ah, oh, we're rocketing back up. So we have a $15 copy and then we have a 17 on up to 18. Hmm. That's what I like to see. Purple Dinkfall finally going back up in value. About time. This card's had a, a very interesting past on the market where it just rockets up and down, up and down, up and down. So to see this finally spinning back up is kind of interesting. Uh, infestation Infection. Ah, somebody bought out the DTs for this. I, I guess. Sure, man. Um, <laughs> uh, $39, $40 after shipping. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Dark Destroyer. There's like some sort of Cosmo hype going on right now. I. I want to know what it is. Like, the fact that Dark Destroyer is creeping up is kind of interesting. Uh, Cosmojo Me Daddy's at 21. Tin Man. Yep, Tin Man's going up. We saw those go up. Cosmo Ladies are 17 bucks. Huh. Wow. Cosmo buyouts, ladies and gentlemen. Who would have guessed? Quick Draw Synchron. Hmm. Hmm, there's one mod play here for 18 bucks. Might want to risk it for the biscuit on up to 60. Wonder why that is. Hmm, tour guide, ec extreme victories. Hmm. Um, these real first editions are 90 bucks. On up to 104. Who's paying this for this card? Pot agreed from DB1. Oh, this ought to be good. Mod play for 23. Uh, near mint for $200. Then there's a light play for 953. Sure, man. Sure. Uh, I think we talked about Battle Ball earlier in the week, but it's gone up even more now for some reason. We're at five bucks, and Toy Wiz is the one that has the listing. That's hilarious. Did you guys also know Danger Bigfoot has been creeping up? We touched on the Danger stuff a little bit earlier in the week, but uh, looks like we're electric boogalooing it here uh, with buyout number two for the original one. Uh, having these spheres blew itself out. Uh, you ever see a card literally go from 20 to like $10 overnight? Hmm. I wonder why that is. Monster Reborn Lost Arts. Hmm. Man, look at all those. 55 bucks is lowest English for light play. There's a sealed here for 73 Um, Outside of that, interesting in-between copies here. Buster Dragon also gave out last night. Who would have guessed? Thanks, reprints. 
uh, 16 bucks. I love Electric Boogaloo. And then, did you guys know Glider Beast uh, Quest or whatever the heck you want to call this thing? You guys also know that these are uh, ridiculous. Five bucks. Uh, you got one first ed back here for seven dollars. I guess. The market's an interesting place. So, guys, I hope you guys have, well, a good rest of your morning for what it's uh, going to be. There's a crap ton of news coming, possible card of the day. Uh, we should have, I, I think the releases are today as well for more news for Ghosts from the Past, but uh, there's a lot to come. So, guys, make sure you smash your love and crap out subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more excellent content. And I'll see you a bit of face back later on the day for some more cool awesome content. Peace out, guys. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your card fight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcol 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.